whenever I demonstrate password cracking on my YouTube channel and use simple or easy to guess passwords, I get a lot of comments saying, this is dumb. No one's going to use simple passwords in the real world. Well, here we have a real world example from McDonald's saying, hold my beer. One, two, three, four, five, six, password exposed chats for 60 million McDonald's job chatbot applications. Now, I think that's a weak password. Can't believe that such a big company was using a password like that for something as sensitive as hiring people to work at McDonald's where they were submitting personal information such as their names, email addresses, phone numbers, home addresses and availability and personality test information as part of the job application process. This is a real world example where Sam Curry and Ian Carroll hacked McDonald's using a password of 123456 and using IDOR or insecure direct object reference, leaking 64 million McDonald's job applications. Now I've interviewed Sam Curry previously. Have a look at the video below where he and the team were able to hack Kia cars. All they needed was a number plate and they could hack into a car, unlock the doors as an example. So this is what Sam says on X, when applying for a job at McDonald's, over 90% of franchises use Olivia, an AI powered chatbot. We, as in himself and Ian Carroll, discovered a vulnerability that could allow an attacker to access over 64 million chat records using the password of 123456. They have a write up on Ian's website here, where they talk about the fact that MacHire is used once again by McDonald's and collects their personal information and worryingly administers personality tests. So they were able to simply log in. So notice here, they show how they used the username 123456, password 123456, and they had access to the entire backend. They basically found that this was the password not just to a normal user account, but the admin panel used by a test franchise. So in this example, rather than logging directly into MacHire, they logged into the Paradox team members. So this is the system that McDonald's uses for their AI. And they found out that they were an administrator of a test restaurant within the MacHire system. So this was great because they could see how the app worked. They got access to a test franchise, but they didn't have access to all the information. So what they did is apply for a job here. And then they noticed something with regards to the numbers. So they noticed an interesting API that fetches the candidate information. The main parameter of the request was the lead ID of the chat. And their number was this. They tried decrementing the number and were immediately faced with PII or personal information from another McDonald's applicant, including unmasked contact data. So it was as simple as that for them to get access to a huge amount of data about people, 64 million records. Now they disclosed this to Paradox AI and McDonald's and it was fixed based on this timeline. But rather than just talking about this hack, I wanna show you an example of IDOR. So again, real world example, 64 million records were leaked. Here's an example from Portsvigger. Now just for the YouTube moderators and people who are watching that don't understand this, this is a test website. Portsvigger makes this available so that we can learn concepts such as IDOR. I have permission to hack this website because this is part of their training lab. So please don't ban my account. So on the Portsvigger website, you can access this lab, user ID controlled by request parameter. So you can follow along and do this yourself. Use this lab, which I'll link below and log in. I'm gonna click on my account. And in the lab, we told that we can log in with these user credentials. So I'm gonna log in with my username and password. And notice here, this user has this API key. So I've logged into a website personal information is now displayed. This is very confidential information, API key. In the real world example, when they logged in, they were able to see a whole bunch of personal information about themselves and then they used Burp Suite to be able to find information about someone else. Now, I'm not gonna do that yet, I'm just gonna keep this really, really simple. I'm gonna change this parameter at the top of the URL. The user ID is set to this. I'll copy that and I'll simply change it to another user account. And notice there, the username has changed and the API key has changed. So by simply changing the URL 
at the top, and I'll change it back to the original user, I'm able to see information about someone else, just like these guys were able to do with Burp Suite. 64 million records were compromised because of a basic password of one, two, three, four, five, six, and an IDOR vulnerability. So again, Carlos there, I'll change it back to our original user. Notice API key is that. Back to Carlos, API key is now that. Confidential information has been revealed by me simply changing something in the URL. Now, insecure direct object reference, IDOR, is explained nicely on the Port Swigger website. I'll link this below as well. So this is basically a type of access control vulnerability that arises when an application uses user-supplied input to access objects directly. So I'm changing the information here in the URL and getting access to a different account. So notice there, or notice there, different user accounts. There's been no authentication of the other user. So Carlos in this example, I logged in as one user, changed something in the URL, got access to Carlos's records. So here are some examples similar to the McDonald's example. We have a website and then we have a customer ID of this. So notice the value at the end. By simply changing that value, we get access to other people's information. So if no other controls are in place, an attacker can simply modify the customer number value by passing access controls to view the records of other customers as I've demonstrated and as these guys did with McDonald's. So in this example, an idle vulnerability leads to horizontal privilege escalation. Now there are other options here which I won't go through in more detail. Notice you can use a static file as an example. Now Portswigger has a lot of fantastic information on their website. You can also download Burp Suite for free and try things. I've previously demonstrated, which I'll link below, how I used Burp Suite to intercept traffic from the McDonald's app. And I was able to see all kinds of information from the app running on a phone. So the UK app in the phone was sending information to McDonald's, but I was intercepting that and could see a whole bunch of information using Burp Suite. Okay, just a short video to update you with this example from the real world, where password of 123456 was used by an AI system used by McDonald's, this is their Mac Hire system. These fantastic researchers were able to use a simple password and IDOR to get information about 64 million job applications. So here's one example from the real world. Unfortunately, companies and people still use bad passwords in 2025. Don't be one of those people. Make sure that you use good passwords.